The Samsung Galaxy S10 is here and it could well be the Android phone to beat in 2019. Coming 10 years after the original Samsung Galaxy S, as always the phone maker's focus is simple, the best display, cutting edge performance and a killer camera. It's also the biggest Galaxy S range so far, eventually there'll be 4 phones in the family, though initially only 3 will be available. Smallest and most affordable is the Galaxy S10e, then there's the Galaxy S10, the linchpin of the lineup. The Galaxy S10 Plus maxes out the specs for those who need to have everything as soon as possible. Finally, and not due to go on sale until the summer, there'll be the Galaxy S10 5 5G, a 5G version of the phone with a few extra tricks in tow. All four use Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 with between 6GB and 12GB of memory. Samsung is promising faster app loading by learning which software you typically use and when you use it, and then proactively loading and closing those apps when appropriate. Bixby routines go one step further, spotting when you're in the car, at the office, or headed to bed, and adjusting apps and settings to suit. The S10, S10 Plus and S10e have a microSD slot too, to add to the minimum 128GB of storage, and they keep the 3.5mm headphone jack as well. Legacy ports, but everything else is cutting edge. Samsung's Infinity-O display nudges even closer to the edges, with the proximity and light sensors embedded under the OLED panel, and a laser cut hole for the phone's front facing cameras. Gone is Iris Unlock, replaced with an in-display ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on the S10 and S10 Plus, and a side-mounted scanner on the S10e. It's swift and easy to use, just gently press your fingertip against the unlock zone, it even works from screen off. Cameras are arguably the single most important feature of modern smartphones, and the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus have three on the back. As well as the regular wide-angle and 2 times optical zoom, there's a new ultra-wide 123 degree lens too, that way you get more in each shot. The S10e has the wide and ultra-wide cameras, and since Samsung now uses those two for live focus images, it means background de blur is available on all three phones. All three get a 10 megapixel front-facing camera with Ultra HD video recording as well, and the S10 Plus adds an RGB depth camera for more accurate portrait shots. An MPU-powered scene optimizer, meanwhile, can now spot 10 new types of photo over the Galaxy S9 and give framing advice too. For video, there's 4K HDR10 Plus support, and the new Super Steady Video Stabilization System applies silky smooth digital stabilization to the ultra wide lens. Fast Wireless Charging 2.0 is joined by Wireless PowerShare. Turn it on, and you can use the S10 to charge up another phone or your accessories. Of course, the glass and metal bodied phones are IP68 water and dust resistant and support Wi Fi 6 and LTE CAT20. As you'd expect, there'll be a full range of cases and accessories. There's also the Galaxy Buds, Samsung's AirPods rival, beating Apple to the punch with a wireless charging case. As for 5G, Samsung already has a version of the flagship for next-gen networks, though the Galaxy S10 5G won't launch until later in the first half of this year. Biggest of the four, with a 6.7-inch screen, it's roughly the size of a Galaxy Note 9. Along with 5G, there's a 3D depth camera with time-of-flight support and a huge 4500 mAh battery. Initially, it'll be a Verizon exclusive, with AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint and Xfinity to follow. If you're impatient though, and can live without 5G, the S10, S10 Plus and S10e go up for pre-order on February 23rd, and arrive in stores from March 8th. The S10e is priced from $749.99, the S10 from $899.99, and the S10 Plus from $999.99. Pre-order buyers get the Galaxy Buds free. Is it all worth the price? Stand by for the full Slash Gear review to find out.